me put it on silent. <laughs> they may message me. I don't know. I don't know yet. The conversations you wanted to hear, bro. Wow. This feels this good. This guy. Man, we're finally back fucking recording at the at the office. The office, huh? We're recording back at the first time in the office. ASMR. I already <sighs> opened mine. Mm. It tells the life. If you haven't, subscribe, follow. Joining like, in. Sure. This is internal podcast. We haven't done one in forever. I think the first time I was on the podcast was what? The first and only time was in July? Yeah, in July. Cercalo. Cercalo. All right, cool. Yeah, I think in, in, yeah, around July when we had everybody, right? It was Dylan, Genesis, yeah. Ashley, Oscar. Those games are wild. Dude, those cards? Truth or, truth or drink? Should we bring truth them out for, a sec- for part two of this? Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We're going to get more guests part two, right? Yes. Part right. two, we should have more guests coming in. But um, this is one of those internal pods where kind of taking a step back from going 100 miles an hour every weekend, work, life, relationships, family, internal Things that we just been kind of putting to the side. I know I have, and this is probably the first weekend I got to work back with my dad on a Saturday. Got to wake up a little later than usual. I was not stressed about what's. I mean, right now, yeah, I got a little bit more stressed, but in the mornings, it wasn't. It wasn't fast paced. Like, That's... like I, I haven't remembered. Or I forgot how. Amazing it was to even have breakfast with my parents. Wow, okay. So I was like, hmm, this is how it feels to not do nothing on the Saturday morning. Hey, sometimes it feels good. Sometimes it's needed, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think we, everybody goes way too fast. Life is just way too fast. That's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. It's uh, a lot of the times we go, like you said, 100 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. That life literally passes us by. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, sometimes you forget. And you think you have so much going on that you forget to make a life. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, you're trying to make money. But, some, but, you know, money comes and goes. Those memories, though. Those memories, they last a lifetime. I think that's like that balance that probably, uh, I know if, if I'm feeling like this, if we're feeling like this, I'm sure everybody listening to us may feel the same way. But we stress so much out about money and we forget to, sit back and cherish what we actually have in front of us. Yeah. So, like, the opportunities that we talked about last time, the positions we're in, the people that we have around us. Like, I, we said it in two podcasts ago. Um, you have not because you ask not. And I think because we go so fast in life, yeah, we forget to sit back, ask whoever we pray to, if we can have this and we're going to be patient for it and we're so fast to just get up and forget about taking that one minute, 30 seconds breath in and be like, man, okay, I'll be okay. Agreed. And it just happened. Hopefully soon we get to announce on, on our titles and in our little like pop-ups right here, what, what we're working on behind the scenes. It's going to happen. It's happening. <laughs> it's, it's, happening. Happen. it's happening. And we're just waiting on a couple other things, and we're excited to share those news. But affirmations and actually speaking it and writing it into existence. So for the people that don't know, we started, thanks to to you, we started meeting on Sundays yeah. and writing down our goals. For the week. For the week, our goals for the month, what we got going on. And even just like kind of like self, um, how do you say it? Self brain farts right now. Assessing. Self assessing what we personally need in order to grow, not just social media wise and business wise, but personally, what holds us back from reaching the next level? Fear. Mm, yes. Fear. I think. I think me. But what? what it is. It's all fear. right. Why fear? It's fear of not being good enough. Mm. I think that's what it is, at least in my, in just, that's what holds me back. And that's what has held me back from doing things. Yeah. Literally my whole life, you know, 
Um, growing up, I tried not to, I guess, suck at anything. Yeah. I tried to be the best I could possibly be. And even though I was, to some people, that wasn't good enough. And uh, that holds me back. The fear of rejection, you know? Being rejected is one of those things that I don't think nobody likes. I hate it, too. Mm -hmm. And I think, again, everybody that's listening in right now, this is the whole point of this internal podcast, is to try to give you real-life scenarios, as we always try to, but now coming from us personally, what we go through. And you may think that we have this perfect poise of, of life, it's all glitz and glamour every every single week, every single opportunity, and it's not. We still battle through fears, which, again, one of the fears, how you're saying, it's rejection. The fear of, am I good enough to be here? Am I good enough to be competing in this industry? And it's tough to get over that fear constantly, daily, it's not like we just wake up and be like, I'm the best. It's like, damn, today I don't I don't feel You gotta believe it. Yeah, today I don't feel the best. And I think once you start talking and saying it to yourself, like there was a moment in earlier before in the year and throughout last year too, where when I started getting into like deep, deep thoughts of just self doubt, depression, not feeling confident enough. Like, I would re- literally write with the next one marker in front of my, my restroom mirror, you are great, you are this. And then just a reminder daily in the morning or at night, every time I've seen it, you are amazing, keep going, don't give up. The better days are coming. And just reading it over, even though I wrote it myself, yeah. reading it to myself, I'm like, okay, cool. And I'll be okay today. And dealing with... The punches that life has us today, right? Yeah. Everybody may think that having rain outside, it may be depressing. And it is. (laughs) The rain sucks. People can't drive in the rain. I'm going to say it. Make sure you use it. Just because it's raining doesn't mean the blinkers don't work. Right? (laughs) That's all I got to say. Just because it's raining doesn't mean you can't give at least a couple seconds heads up that you're switching fucking lanes. Some of those people today. Change your windshields, your windshield wipers. Stop. Some people live life like that. Hey. Hey. (laughs) If you haven't changed out your windshield wipers, you know that when it's heavy rain, whatever you haven't, whatever windshield wiper you already have that's old, it's not clearing nothing up. It's not. It's not. It's just marrying everything. you, All the dirt you got on those (laughs) windshields. Like, that's really what it's doing. Everything happening. And some of us, and that's how some of you guys go through life. Without changing what is needed in order to see your vision a lot clearer. Life's a risk. Life's a risk, carnal. <laughs> I wanted to say it, but people hey. be talking shit, as they always do. No, but it, that's okay, though, because they're not living in our shoes. They're going to be like, that white guy's not a carnal, bro. <laughs> Pepe, where are you from? Michoacan. Well, my parents are from Michoacan. I'm from... That, what is it? That L.A. hospital that everyone's <laughs> born? <laughs> everyone in the 90s is born there. The L.A. USC. Oh. That ghetto one, you know? You're L.A. baby then. I'm an L.A. baby, yeah. I'm a Montebello baby. Beverly? I think so. If that's the one there, Montebello, yeah. I know which one. I know which one. Yeah, that, don't. I may look like I have a nopal in my frente, but my parents are from Michoacan, so for the people that don't know. From the same town. Yeah, literally same, same town. Same town. That's Salceda. this is where our our roots just go a little bit more backtrack. And man, that's just to our point, to my point is sometimes we we roll through life without having a clear vision of what we're trying to attain, which is either happiness, success, a better relationship, a better relationship with either your your partner, with your parents with work or with the higher power. Some of us just procrastinate so much on working on what is internal that we waited too long until we're just already hitting the wall. Absolutely. And no more. We can't go no more. Yeah. So 
how did I know we don't we talk about it a lot more now, but for the people that are are listening in, how do you personally deal with with the self doubt? That's the hard part. I don't really deal with it. I avoid it. I put I've put off so many things mm-hmm. for that same reason. Mm. You know? I've had opportunities that a lot of people don't have. Not gonna say what they are. But uh I had to say no because I don't feel confident enough. Mm. Like I don't feel good enough. And like I've obviously worked on it. Yeah. I'm trying to work on it. Um, but even then, like I've literally said no to money that's been in front of me. All I had to do is sign. Yeah. For that same reason. Mm, you know? The self doubt. The self doubt. The self doubt. So because you have waited and let go of opportunities because of this problem, you miss opportunities to become better. But do you feel like because you miss them, you still become better, but just in a different way? Or how do, how do you think that works? Because I feel like we, we all do. We all miss opportunities. Yeah. We Because we don't feel confident enough or we don't feel like, hmm, not the right time. I think uh, that's one of the excuses we use. We do. Oh, the time the timing isn't right. No, it's not, it's, to be honest. That's what it is. Yeah. A lot of the times we're saying, oh, we're not good enough. The timing isn't right. Yeah, maybe not now. But then that's the thing. You look back as you get older. Like, I'm older than you, right? Yeah. There's those opportunities that I've passed back, like, that I've let pass by. Mm-hmm. I look back now and I say, damn, I should have taken them. Yeah. Like, my life would be completely different. That, and that's the part that sucks. The what ifs, you know? Do you, do you feel like, and not throwing, and when you have these type of conversations with anybody, especially your close circle, this is no, we're not here to throw shade on anybody that's been a part of our life. And anybody that takes it that way, maybe you're missing something internally that you probably just have to fix on your own and we cannot help you. Yeah. But sometimes I feel like it's the people that we have around us that, don't make us think on a different level, in a different spectrum. If if I'm hanging out with people that are still wanting to party every weekend and, and get drunk and, and spend the whole week's check on this instead of trying to plan for a better tomorrow, then maybe my thought process isn't going to be, well, how can I start up this business or how can I start up a better relationship and internal stuff, mental health, being motivated, right? Yeah. Everybody walks into work. If you're listening to this, like sometimes if you if you are this person that you walk into work and you're dreading it every day that you walk in, every week that you go, something needs to change. And it's your job. Yeah. <laughs> if you're dreading going to work, change that job. Yeah. And if you're planning, if you're trying to work on something bigger, something greater, a, a side job to make it your main hustle. Yeah. That means you're working two jobs in one day. That means you cannot take any days off because your main hustle is providing your side hustle until your side hustle maintains both of those jobs of income. Yeah, you have to. And to so to my point is, I think I've went through this too. Hanging out with certain individuals in my life, in a certain phase of my life, where the conversations weren't what we have now. Hey, how can we get better this week? See, that's what changed, you know? Uh, and I've noticed. I mean, I started coming into the podcast filming what, July of last mm-hmm. year? And uh, I think everything happened for a reason. Um, I was kind of going through some stuff, you know? And that self-doubt was just there. And the thing is, is like, I don't like to be a burden on people. I yeah. never have. And um, I needed somebody to talk to. And you just provided that. The group provided that. I got to meet pretty much everyone in the podcast. Yeah. And everyone that was part of it. And since I joined, literally the conversations have changed. Yeah. When I go out, it's uh, it's for a reason, you know? We do some podcast stuff. We film. We, uh, we hang out. We hang out. We have good conversations, though. It's not just your typical going out. I'm going to go out and get drunk. Yeah conversations it's actual meaningful conversations it's hey how are you how are you doing mentally this week yeah. you know how are you uh improving 
And I think that's that's what I love about our Sundays. And Sundays. we just started doing this about three weeks ago. Yeah. And since we started, I feel like everything inside, mentally, emotionally, and that internal part of me just sparked up once again. Yeah. Because it's now it's like, damn, we're doing all of this. We have these people here. And even one of those appreciation texts yesterday when – our deal is going down. It's like, bro, thank you guys so much. I'm so proud of us because we're doing something that's going to make us better. And we're trying to beat the odds that are against us. We're not the best at what we do. There is bigger people than us. There's people that give more number than us, but we're living through the whole process internally as Hispanic Latino people trying to make it in this industry when and for everybody listening, whether you're Hispanic, what you're American, whatever you are, there's always going to be the people that doubt you. And if you're trying to pursue a dream that doesn't seem attainable to anybody, you just have to battle those fight. You just have to fight those fights within yourself to not listen to them. So you don't give up your dream because the other people didn't believe in it. So it can be from your your parents? That's what I was going to ask. Hey, how do you uh, go against what your parents tell you? Because that, that's where most of my <laughs> self-doubt comes from. That's literally where most yeah. of my self-doubt comes from. Not my mom. My mom has always supported everything and anything that I do. Yeah. It's more my dad. He's always oh. been. It's not going to work out. Yeah. I think uh, for us, for me, was showing him what we've been doing. Showing him the numbers. Showing him the love, so the messages. And, I mean, just like any typical Hispanic parent and probably just any parent in general, how much are you making? And one thing you kind of have to explain to them, again, they're not going to fully understand it. Yeah. It's like, hey, right now it's this, but it it's – you can reach whatever you want in this. The number is infinite. You just have yeah. to put in the work. You're writing your own check. Essentially. The more content you put, the more quality content you put – the more you get. And and that's just the thing, right? Yeah. It's providing the quality, providing the gems for the people, for not just the almost 12,000 people are, are subscribed to us, but how can we get to 100,000? How can 100,000 people subscribe to us and watch us every single Monday and every week to give these gems? So to try to... So my thing with... Anybody that's trying to start something when your parents are not believing in it or your significant other. Okay. Right? Because when you're Team trying yeah, when you're trying to get into a, a your for yourself, you're sacrificing time. You're sacrificing weekends with them. You're sacrificing your stress levels go through the roof because you're worried about what are you gonna do next for your own business or for your con whatever you're doing. So my advice to everybody is make them see that all those days, hours, months, weeks were worth it when it pays off. If you stay stagnant in the same position for the whole year, you messed up somewhere. But in a whole six, you can change in six months. The first move we went to LA, we invested everything we had. And in six months, boom, we got our first deal. Yeah. We did a whole year. Boom. We got all these numbers. I would I would just looking back again, guys, like this is this is something that I, I just been wanting to talk about, but I just I was looking through through social media and I popped up that last year in July, I put thank you for sixty six thousand followers on TikTok. Boom, fast forward twenty twenty three in March, we're at two hundred twenty three thousand. Yeah. That's what, like 150 something. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a good man. I didn't go to college. Like 157, 58. I don't know. It's yeah. like 150 something. Yeah. Point is, we sub <laughs> substantially we we went up a lot. And right now, looking at numbers and again, how do we do it? We stay consistent. How do how do we land? Why do we look like we're success? Because I don't even know what success looks like. I don't when people say, Oh, you guys are successful, what does that mean? That's the thing about success. Everybody has a different definition of success. What your definition of success might be different than mine. What is it? What what 
You want to know what? what yeah, what's your definition is? of success? Having so my thing has always been no. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. Growing up, I used to think being successful was having a big old house, having a lot of money, yeah. having a really nice car. And the older I get, and it sounds cheesy, it really does. But now it's just being able to help my fam- my family out pretty much. That's my definition of success at the moment. Yeah. Being able to help my family out. Yeah. And being able to spend time with them. Facts. That's pretty much it. Damn. It, makes, it sounds simple. It sounds simple, but to even obtain it is that's that's the tough part. To it obtain is. to obtain that type of success, to obtain that type of of balance. Sometimes it's just too tough. So I think the thing about success is can we, if what we're doing, can we help, how many people can we help out along our journey? If what we're doing, how many people can, if we're happy in this, how many people can we bring along in this? So when we have moments of traveling and then we're all together enjoying this, to me that's success. To me, getting the eyes and the views of all these people and having my team to enjoy this with, my loved ones with, that to me is success. The money will always come. It's just you got to put in the work. You have to. And if we put a, there's no dollar amount, there's no number and subscribers or followers that's going to really do it for us because we hit one, one milestone and we're like, all right, what's next? Can we times this by 10? What can we, if we did this in this amount of time, what can we do next? So not putting a time frame. I want to write down your goals. I want to do this. Once you write it down and, and you're saying it, it happens. It becomes attainable. It becomes attainable. Yeah. You you read it like, damn, I could, I could really do this. Yeah, I mean, it happened, right? Yeah, so for the people that are watching, write down your goals. What have you obtained so far in your life in this year? What have, what little wins have you celebrated already? And what's next? What are you trying to obtain in the week, in the month? And don't go past that because if you're, if you overshoot it, you're, you're like on a, on a time frame. Like I want to do this, 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 and you're speeding through it. And because we speed through it, we forget about the moment we're in. You do? We don't take a step back. And that's the thing. You're going through beautiful things sometimes, and you f- let them pass you by. Yeah. That letting, letting time pass, pass you by without enjoying what we're doing takes away the fun out of it. And that's why this type of internal pod is, is needed because we're like, damn, I need to take a step back. We need to ooh, breathe a little bit. We need to assess everything internally, what's happening. So my question to you before we end this little quick jam for everybody is how are you feeling one through 10? One being you're done, 10, you're at your best. I'm at a six. I think I'm at a six. All right. Elaborate on this. Just, uh, I think this past week, and then even then, just co- past couple of months, I've been, so I went back to school mm-hmm. and uh, been dealing with work, got a couple of accounts. Those accounts are just, they drain me so much mentally that at the end of the day, I'm just done, you yeah. know? Mentally, I think I'm just like exhausted. So that's why I'm at a six. And then I found out I'm going to have to have to move. Yeah. Work locations. So my commute's gonna go from twenty minutes to like an hour hour fifteen. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I think mentally I'm just like, you know what, I'm done. Preparing. And then even then, like I'm lucky enough to be employed. So I can't really be be too mad about it, you know? Yeah. Uh I have a lot going on right now. And I'm thankful for that. So in a sense, I mean it's just me being, it's just me being a little bitch and complaining about <laughs> it. Realistically, yeah. But it's not that bad, you know. There's people that go through a lot worse and are going through a lot worse, so I can't really complain. It's yeah. just 
mentally, that's where I'm at right now. It's a lot going on. School and work and commute and everything. Love that. I think that's just what it is. We'll be good. We'll be good. <laughs> we'll be good. This is the po- this is the positive guy <laughs> all the time, bro. Yeah, I have to. Nah, sometimes you just pretend. <laughs> sometimes you have to pretend. That's the thing. And people don't realize you're pretending, you know? You fake it till you make it until you believe it yourself. <laughs> you have to sometimes. Fake it till you make it. That's right. What about you? What are you feeling at? Um, right now, I want to say I'm a solid. I'm a solid seven. Okay. And the reason I say a seven is because how I was mentioning earlier and how you how you know outside of this is I started doing a lot of internal work. Yeah. Um, when I wake up every morning, it's not about man. Can I have this? What can I do to get this? Is thank you for letting me wake up. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to even get up out of my bed. And thank you for giving me what I have currently in my life right now, the good and the bad. Because without the bad, then I would not learn through my situations in order to be better. And how you said, someone else may have it worse than me. So why, why am I here sitting and complaining? I'm here giving these gems, giving the conversation to everybody listening in right now being with you here, my guy, and being able to celebrate life and living it the way we want it to. Yes, can it be better? All the time. I'm, I'm still trying to learn how to meditate, learn how to pray a little bit more, learn how to accept certain things that, that I cannot control. Yeah. And just taking a breath. You know, right now, the rainy days, <clears throat> even a little bit of sun that we get, just without even my phone out, just looking into the sky and be like, man, thank you. Love you. Yeah. Admire whatever little bit of sunshine you get. Embracing everything and anything that's coming my way because without any of that, I don't know what I would be and who I would be. Yeah, I mean, without the bad, you can't appreciate all the good. Yeah, I think uh, there was a documentary on Mayweather. His mom's, his mom was saying this. Without the... Without the bad times, how do you know what good times feel like and look like? Exactly. You got to go through them. Yeah. But however, how much it hurts you, how much pain it may put you through, without those days and without those tribulations that you may go without those speed bumps, how do you know what complete happiness and good times feel like? And right now, I feel like we're just in a hap- in a good moment. It, there's... There's a lot of bumps that <laughs> come with all this, but Dude, a bunch of bumps. But without this, then how do without those bumps? How do we know what peace feels like and looks like? Oh, definitely. So I hope everybody that listening to us for the last thirty minutes, you took something out of this. Ask your loved ones, your partners, your parents, even your friends. One through ten, how do you feel? One being the worst, ten being the best. And then you assess the numbers, whatever response you get, and you work forward. How can I go from a six to a seven? How can and I then go a ten? How can I go from a seven point six six point five to a seven point five? I don't know, but this happy dad is helping. So. <laughs> but <laughs> it toast to life. It toast to life to you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe, share. On to the next one.